In this tutorial, we will be going over how to use the camera in the automatic mode. Although we will brush over some manual features as well, automatic is our main focus mode for this video. In automatic mode, many of the variables involved in taking pictures are determined for you. For example, your camera will determine the shutter speed, aperture, and ISO sensitivity for you when you point it at a certain subject. As you change the focus of the subject, the automatic features will adjust these variables to adapt to the new frame. You can see how the numbers indicating shutter speed, aperture, and ISO sensitivity change at the bottom of the screen when I point the camera at different locations. This is one of the many amenities the automatic mode on a camera can provide for you. However, there are still a few features you can control within the automatic mode. By twisting the grip of the lens either clockwise or counterclockwise, you control the ability to zoom into and out of the frame. By doing so, you can change the composition of your photo, either emphasizing one subject within the frame or allowing more space into the image to allow the background and foreground to play a more cohesive role. Another feature you could control in automatic mode would be the focus. There are two ways to go about adjusting the focus of your subject. Many cameras have an autofocus toggle that can switch from on to off and vice versa. When on, you can press the button fully down to quickly capture your image. However, if you press the button halfway, it will cause the camera to autofocus onto your subject, by which then you could press down fully once you are satisfied with your view to preserve your photo. When the autofocus toggle is switched to manual, you can still focus onto your subject, but you'd have to do it manually. This means you yourself have control over the focus of your subject and can narrow or widen the opening in the lens of your camera to create focus within your shot. You can do this by using another rotating grip, usually placed on the length of the lens besides the zoom grip. By rotating this grip clockwise and counterclockwise, the sense of focus in the image is now up to your discretion. With this combined knowledge of automatic features and the manual features as well within the automatic mode, you can now maneuver your camera with ease and greater capability. Thanks for watching and good luck.